It's time for Mavs News with Butch Dropko, Ethan Marantonio, Donovan Graves, DJ Snow, and Carla Hughes. And now, here's Butch Dropko. Welcome to Mavs News. First up, we have Donovan Graves with this week's activities report and lunch menu. This week's blue ticket winners are for kindergarten through second grade, Kaylin Joseph and Riley Butler. For third through fifth grade, Owen Tackett and Simon Robinson. Pick up your prize in the elementary library. This week's Mav Up Cart winners are Colton Butler and Mariposa Boyd. Please pick up your prize in the office. Congratulations to the following students for being selected for membership in the National Honor Society. Chloe Antonson, Michaela Fleming, Calder Hughes, Jay Sinks, Selen Taylor, Zoe Trulock, and Hunter Wilson. Introduction ceremony will be held Wednesday, March 29th at 7 p.m. in the Mav Corral. This week, the middle school will be taking the Park English Language Arts Test. Parent-teacher conferences for secondary students will be held Tuesday and Wednesday this week in the APR. Wednesday at 3.30 p.m., the kindergarten is holding their drama performance of Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Friday, March 24th is a half day. Students will attend their 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th period classes. Also on Friday at 10.40 a.m., the 6th grade will be performing the drama the internet is so distract, oh look a kitten. Kindergarten registration for next year will be held at noon on Friday. Here is this week's lunch menu. Monday, sandwich bar. Tuesday, pizza. Wednesday, taco bar with homemade beans and Spanish rice. Thursday, roasted pork, mashers, and gravy. Friday, homemade chicken noodle soup and bread. With every meal, there is always a salad bar, fruit, and milk. And that is this week's activities report and lunch menu. And now here is Ethan Marantonio with the Student Spotlight. On this week's Student Spotlight, we meet Ira Sandifer. Ira is in the third grade at Norwood Elementary School. My name is Ira. I was born in 2007, May 23rd. I'm in third grade. My favorite subject in school is art. I play tennis, football, and baseball. When I'm outside of school, I like to draw, I like to play video games, I like to go on hikes and go places and see my friends. Here's what some of the students had to say about him. Ira is funny and smart, and he's kind. Ira is truthful, honorable, and you can trust him all the time. He never gets over reactive and is always calm. His artistic skills makes him unique. His drawings are like really good. If you needed help, he would help you. He's a good friend. Here is what the staff had to say about him. He is very intelligent, yet he is a social kid. He gets along with all the other kids so wonderfully. He has really surprised me this year. We did a Titanic project and he's been helping the kids with that because he'll go home and he'll study and look up information about the Titanic and then he comes back and lets me know things that I didn't know about the Titanic and I've been studying it for a few years. He is um, a student that really likes to stop and think about things before he replies to you. So I think that he is um, serious, but yet he's funny all at the same time. He's a really great kid. And now here's DJ Snow with this week's sports report. Hello. The middle school wrestling team took eighth place at the Delta Panther Invitational on March 11th. Here are their individual results along with the rest of the results of last week's sporting events.
Tuesday, the high school baseball team travels to Montrose for a 3 o'clock game. Saturday, the high school track team competes in Delta. Pee Wee wrestling practice is every evening at 6.30. Girls youth basketball practice is Tuesday and Thursday night at 6.30. And that is this week's sport report. See you next week. Some strange activity occurred in the elementary school on St. Patrick's Day. Several classrooms were vandalized. School administration has released security camera video. They are asking for the community's help in identifying the suspect. Contact the office if you know who this person is or if you have any information that would help in the investigation. Finally, here's Calder Hughes with Calder's Corner. Hi, I'm Calder Hughes and welcome back to Calder's Corner. Here we have Riley Birch back with us talking about the Pledge of Allegiance. So tell me, Riley, how have things been trying to get this thing passed? Well, the results are in. A uh, majority of students want to see the pledge come back. Um, this will happen once a week, Monday morning, and it will be set over the intercom. Uh, this will happen immediately after spring break, and yeah, that's about it. All right. Well, I'm sure that all of us are glad to be able to take part in this every week. Next week on College Corner, we will take a look at the history of the Pledge of Allegiance and the correct way to say the pledge. I'm Calder Hughes, and thank you for turning in to Calder's Corner. And that's the news for the week of March 20th. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.